A woman calls police after being robbed at work. But as it turns out, police say the call she made was the only thing that was real. The entire robbery, they say, just a big scheme to get money. News 4's Dylan Brown is on Crime Watch to explain. She needed a new MacBook and a trip to the Big Apple. That's what allegedly led a now former O'Reilly's auto worker to be the mastermind behind an armed robbery. Veterans Day last year, just before 7 in the morning, a woman who worked at the O'Reilly's Auto Parts near Northwest 10th and Meridian was opening up the store when a man pointed a gun at her, yelling an expletive, telling her to open the door. She would. She turned off the alarm inside. He would force her to open up their safe. In it, over $13,000. He would punch her in the face and run off. Documents allege the suspect took the $13,300 and began running to the getaway car. It's near Northwest 11th and Vermont. In the car would be two others waiting for him. They would split the money three ways. I'm shocked. That car, documents allege, was parked outside of Tina Spears' home. The suspect would hop in it. The driver sped away. That's amazing because we're usually home a lot during the day and I'm the nice, I'm the eyes. I'm the eyes, eyes of the neighborhood. For months, no suspect was known. I'm surprised I didn't see it. Here's the thing, the worker, the alleged victim, Emily Rose, arrested months after the incident for embezzling over $2,000 while she worked at O'Reilly's. Documents detail after she got out of jail, Rose confessed to being the mastermind of the Veterans Day robbery. She was allegedly the mastermind behind it all. Oh no. Documents say a boyfriend only known as Justin met her outside her vehicle that morning, punched her in the face to make it look more like a real robbery. All police know for now is that in the getaway car was someone named Madison, a driver named Krista. She stole right. $13,300. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. It's <laughs> a lot of money. When asked why Rose did it, she allegedly said she needed to pay off a trip to New York and needed a new MacBook. Dylan Brown, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, an arrest warrant is out for Rose and the investigation is ongoing. Dylan, after he caught his breath, talked to the manager at the O'Reilly's who says he's happy to be finished with Rose.